Nah, creepy game in here. Getting stuck on this shitty team. I'm gonna doing our best here, and we're getting paired up with some pay-to-win losers. Got a mediocre team at best. Some of these guys are all right. A couple of them are really shit. You know, they got awful gear scores. Can't really do much with it. You know, they don't. Uh, yellow circle two. I had a hard time getting them to heal me. This guy here is just awful. Tell he's a pay to win loser with some gear, but doesn't really know how to play that f build worth his shit, so. I don't know what where our team's at, but a couple pay to win losers on our team, too. This guy here just completely sucks. He shields up, that's all he knows how to do. And apparently uses credit card. <clears throat> this guy here isn't very good either. If we had a better team, we'd be squashing these guys. He did. This, this guy here is probably the best. This DMC. The best one on their team. The rest of these guys are horrible. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go after the cleric. I'm not gonna be a moron like this guy on my team and go after the tank. When there's a cleric healing him. He's down. I'm gonna go after this tank now. He ain't getting no heals. Should be an easy knockdown win. Not too bad there. I'll take it. Nine kills, four deaths. Getting better. Fortunately, I'm not going to win, but too many uh, caps giving up early. I'll go after this noob that doesn't know how to play as a guardian fighter. He's an easy kill. Somebody knocked his shield off, looks like. I'm going to knock him down and when I get to him. Fortunately, I need some movement chant and chance so I can catch this asshole. Oop, got him that time. I'm gonna go after this cleric. Oop, he did. I'm going to try to come back. I don't know if we can, but it's going to be a close game, that's for sure. With these two guys that we got on our team and the two guys that they have that suck. I'm not even interested in fighting those guys. I just want to kill this healer. He's the one that keeps them alive, you know. Then I'll go after the rogue. That guardian fighter and that great weapons fighter really can't do shit to me. If I didn't know any better, I'd think this guy's a bot. He's got to be, or he's just sucks. He runs the same path over and over, so he could be a bot, but who knows. Thirteen and four, not doing bad. Again, if I had a better team, it'd be a whole different ball game here. Once he loses his shield, he's usually a dead man. Oh, got the knockdown first. Pretty lucky there. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. I'm getting no healing. Got th four of them on me.
We're gaining. Not fast enough, but we're gaining. That guy. Go after this pay to win loser. Down by eighty. For fuck's sake. Look at this horse shit. This guy is such a noob and he doesn't didn't even know how to play the build, but yet he can knock me down over and over again. Like, look at this shit. This guy's not even nowhere in my league, but just because he's got all this horse shit gear that he's bought, he can do something. It's ridiculous. Cryptic really needs to look at the fucking enchants and all the shit that they've added and put some balance to it. That's why a lot of people have left, and it's hard to get new players in now because... Of the PvP imbalance, the buying Zen and shit. We were catching up, but they've decided not to go for bases now, it looks like, so it's gonna be a hard game to win. If they don't go for their base, you, when you're down, you know, you have to, you wanna take their base away from them so they stop gaining points makes it so you can catch back up but when when everybody's fighting at two and they have two bases they're winning and they're gonna keep gaining points on you so I'll go after this help this guy kill this healer don't know why he needs help the guy should be dead already but whatever He's dead now. There's our pay to win loser friend. He's dead now too. Oh. This guy. Kick his ass too. He hit his unstoppable right at the perfect time. Getting healed by this cleric. Knock his ass out. We are catching him. That's for sure. Only a couple more points to go and we'll be ahead. Play some defense here and we got it. It was pretty bad early on. I didn't start the video recording uh, early on, but we were down 200 points at one time. Fourteen and six, I'll take it, especially with this team. I mean, you got—I think it's this guy. Look at his gear, the fucking greens and blues and fucking nothing. No enchants. It's horrible. I think that gave up. One guy left, looks like. The rest of them said fuck it and logged or rage quit or whatever. Once we kill this guy, it should be about over. Oh, they're still pushing two in our base. We'll roll these guys at two and Enemy dominates. hopefully that'll be it. Enemy
still fighting them. Um, need to go after the cleric, keep him down, I think. The rest of these guys really can't do much. I'm gonna go after their base, try to keep them from gaining any more points. I'm not even gonna fight that guy, I'm just gonna run. Maybe he'll chase me. Your team dominates. It's alright as long as I'm contesting it. <laughs> Not too bad though. 805 points. Anyway, I guess that's uh, arena PvP for you. It's not too exciting, uh, especially when you know you have pay-to-win losers that kind of ruin PvP. Anyway, Creed Gaming signing out. Probably bring some more Neverwinter videos if we continue playing. You know, we've been talking about playing Wizardry Online, Mortal Online, a few of these other open world PvP games. Maybe even going back and trying Salem again. You know, I know they've got new management now. And, uh, look, the game was fun when I was playing. I just could not deal with all the bugs. And, uh, you know, dying. Dying was a huge pain in the ass. Uh, in that game. And leveling up was even worse because you had to have you get all the things in one skill and then it takes it away from you when you go up and you have to do it over and over again. It just and farming resources, you know, farming the maple leaves or whatever, and the trees don't spawn, or you find a maple leaf tree and it doesn't have nothing on it, and just running around for 30 minutes looking for a tree is not all that appealing. Anyway, Creed Gaming signing out.